in order to help diabetes patients to treat type 2 diabetes, restore the glucose sensitivity, Huan Medicine discovered a innovative diabetes drug named Dorzagliatin. This is a global first-in-class glucokinase activator and then demonstrated that uh, Dorzagliatin can well control the blood glucose, at the same time control the blood glucose fluctuation. This will add uh, additional benefit uh, to the patients because uh, you can uh, reduce or delay the diabetes complications such as uh, renal disease, uh, eye disease, uh, stroke, uh, cardiovascular diseases. So uh, we're conducting uh, new clinical studies uh, in US and then uh, we're going to bring this medicine from China to US and then help our patients uh, here. In the uh, Sensitize uh, program, we um, investigated the actions of dorsogliatins on a range of populations. So this included people with type 2 diabetes in recent onset, uh, people with GCK MODI, um, also people with impaired glucose tolerance and also normal glucose tolerance as a control. So um, we adopted a, um, the hyperglycemic clamp, which is regarded as one of the gold standard techniques of evaluating uh, beta cell function. Um, and in our studies, the people with type 2 diabetes and also with IGT, um, we found that a single dose of dorsogliatin actually increased um, the second phase insulin secretion um, by nearly twofold and also evaluated the actions of dorsogliatin on alpha cell function. And what we found was that in people with normal glucose tolerance, a single dose of dorsogliatin also had um, an effect on um, enhancing the uh, glucose-stimulated glucagon suppression. Um, so together, this suggests that from our mechanistic studies, that dorsogliatin might have a range of effects on both beta and alpha cell function. So we think this data is going to be very exciting um, and we hope that you know, GCK um, um, and also um, the um, dorsogliatin um, can offer a potential alternative therapeutic options and address maybe a broader range of um, glucose uh, regulating defects in people with different types of diabetes. MOLDI2 uh, is very uh, prevalent among uh, <clears throat> MOLDI uh, patients. This, uh, uh, put patients on uh, a high risk of developing macrovascular complications. We did have a case uh, of uh, a multi two patients. So he rotate in several hospitals and try almost all medications, uh, especially uh, the, the oral medications. But uh, the HB1C uh, was not uh, uh, improved until um, the patients try this uh, dosa gripping. Uh, after the treatment, there was a dramatic improvement of HbA1c uh, to the level of normal glycemic. Uh, so we, we thought that this might be uh, the case for uh, precision medicine uh, because uh, we know that uh, in multi two patients, the global kinase activity uh, get uh, uh, compromised. So with the uh, dose of lipin, uh, we can actually stimulate and normalize the enzyme function. And this can be uh, used for treating uh, those multi tools with a hyperglycemic that really need to be controlled. Yeah. <laughs> 好的一个新的一类抗糖尿病的药，为什么能用这个药？主要现在还是看到了它在肾功能不全的病人，乃至于一见发是小失误的时候，它仍然这个药浓度的没有明显的提增加。这就给我们一个信心，哎，这个药能
，确实这个是我同学的夫人，呃，生一子以后一个月不到就血糖很高，要打胰岛素，嗯，乃至四针，我说你不需要，你就一个基础胰岛素，加一个多格雷爱丁，就能解决问题。那么结果后来把多格雷爱丁，嗯，这个一直放在上面，而且基础胰岛素也拿掉了，这个多格雷爱丁。这个血糖控制很稳定，我觉得将来可以做这样的研究，糖尿病合并肾病，或者说糖尿病合并其他肾脏疾病的时候，也可以应用这个多布雷爱丁。那么在 Dream 研究的启动是在啊多扎格雷爱丁的三期临床试验结束的时候。那么这些病人经过啊半年到一年的多扎格列汀的治疗，那么血糖已经控制很良好 ，L1C 在六点五以下。那么对于这样一些病人，研究结束了，那么我们就继续停药，啊多扎格列汀停药。那么在这批人群当中，我们看到也能达到百分之六十五的这样的一个临床缓解率。那么这就是给我们二型糖尿病的治疗带来了新的希望。那我们不必。啊，进行手术，手术的一些人，也啊，通过这样的一些口服药，啊，在合适的人群，也能够获得很好的一个临床缓解的这样一个机会。那么，这改变了我们过去的糖尿病的这个长期终身治疗的一些理念。那么，今后我们需要去观察是哪些病人，啊，在什么情况下更能获得这种临床缓解，啊，以使我们能够更加精准的找到更合适的。应用了这样一个病例，那么就像我们中国有一个中国梦，美国也有一个美国梦，我们糖尿病病人也有一个梦，就是达到临床缓解。Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer: the content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have, and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.